Soundwave, Jackson's art and music experience. I'm your host, Jason Smith. Coming up on today's show, Jackson's own Barefoot Breakdown takes the stage at the Michigan Theater, and we head over to Art 634 for Singularities Live, Love, and Make Art on Artbeat. But first, we head over to the Michigan Theater for the female-fronted dynamic sounds of Barefoot Breakdown. Having only been a band for a brief amount of time, Barefoot Breakdown has captured a lifetime of experiences in their diverse and progressive sound. Each multi-instrumental band member brings their musical talent to the ensemble, creating an energetic live show that encourages audience participation. Well, actually, I have like never really written any of my songs down, and I think that's why they come from so deep in my soul. Um, it's just, a, as my band knows, it's a long, drawn-out creative process, and it just kind of comes out. Whoa, I don't got a vibe. With a new album in the works and a new music video, Barefoot Breakdown is ready to take on the world. Here they are rocking the stage at the Michigan Theater on Soundwave.
Thank you, thank you. After the break, we'll head out to Art 634 for Singularity's Live, Love, and Make Art pop-up gallery on this week's Art Beat. If you're an artist or a musician who would like to be featured on Soundwave, we'd love to hear from you. Contact us at viewermail at jtv.tv. Life moves at a fast pace. When the time comes to celebrate that special anniversary, reunion, or major milestone, it can be hard to slow down and reconnect with our roots. Here in Jackson, we still value the moments that make life special. We believe in offering fine accommodations for any occasion, with a wide range of hotels, customizable and standalone event spaces, and banquet halls to fit every budget and style. It's all here in Jackson. So when the time comes to reflect and celebrate with your loved ones, you don't have to go far to experience Jackson. Find event venues and places to stay at experiencejackson.com. According to a recent survey, 98% of people sleep every single night. If you're one of those people and you like to save money, Jackson Resale Factory is the place for you to pick up your brand new mattress set. Jackson Resale Factory has the lowest prices in town on new mattress sets starting at $129.99. We offer quilted, pillow top, and euro top mattresses at low factory direct prices so you can find the perfect mattress to fit you. With 10 year warranties and prices this low, there's no reason to wait. Jackson Resale Factory will beat any competitor's advertised price or your mattress is free. Welcome back. Each episode of Soundwave, we like to feature artists or art events in the Jackson area in a segment titled Art Beat. This episode, we head over to Art 634 for Singularity's pop-up art event, Live, Love, and Make Art. Live, Love, and Make Art uh, Art Show at Art 634, hosted by The Singularity. I'm one of the representatives of that company. This is a collection of about 25 artists, um, uh, local and regional artists. We also have music from all over the state from Ipsy to Grand Rapids. Each band has someone who's a Jackson native. Um, we have live glass blowing, um, live art. Essentially, this is one of um, a series of shows that uh, we're putting together. In February, we'll be featuring photography. Um, in March, we'll be featuring paint. This is great, having this kind of a, a, a show, a pop-up show like this for us, every artist in the area to come together and just see different, different perspectives on, on life and art and see other people's point of view expressed through their, their art, it's amazing. Being here, having all these people here, it's like a community, it's like a family. It really feels safe, it feels great to share this with the world with the rest of uh, the town. I really appreciate what they're doing over here at Art 634. It's an honor to be part of it. It really is. I'm Savannah Espinosa. I'm the literary director for the Singularity House. 
Um, I was recently asked to be a part of the writing portion um, because the last booklet that we had in the show last April or May, my writing was featured, um, which they liked, which I liked, and I wanted to be more a bigger part of that. Um, so I was asked to be a part of this. This is the booklet. Um, what I will say about the booklet, there are a lot of really, really great writers. Um, we had a little bit of problems with the publishing last minute, so hopefully everybody can forgive us for that, but the booklets are a dollar. We usually only charge a dollar or two for them, and they're just great. It features local artists, local writers, and everybody gets their chance to see their stuff in print, and I think that's really exciting for the writers as well as for us. I kind of stepped back from this event recently and didn't really have a lot to do with putting it on. Being here and trying to get my head wrapped around what uh, Katie and Doug did this time <laughs> around is uh, it's a lot of fun. I love being a part of the art community and trying to bring the art community to life. Yeah, to life. Alive. It's very much alive. It took a lot of work um, towards the end of the week, um, busy lives, busy schedules, but putting on this event um, and seeing the end result is amazing. The end result um, is always the best. It's getting it everyone together sense. and it's, it's all this chaos <laughs> and then all of a sudden all this art you just watch the room just fill up with just color. There's artwork being sold. We priced yeah. um, every artist brought five pieces tonight. Um, some more. They had things that they didn't want to sell which would just be on display which is not a problem. I love more art. Um, we had some walk-ins so we you know we let them come in and they ran over. So a lot of them live right at the armory so they can just run right home and grab five pieces, price them under $100, or not for sale. Um, and tonight we're only asking to take a small amount of money because the, the door price is only a dollar. Trying to make it tonight. more affordable so that people can start selling yep. and it can start filtering through the community. Yep. And we have complimentary fruit. Yes, I always have earlier. complimentary fruit. And always. it's a hit, everyone loves it. Uh, the kids constantly coming up to the basket, they get hungry. <laughs> can I like, have another? <laughs> If you, if you have any art, um, anything that you'd like to contribute, if you'd like to be a part of the project, we'd love to have you. Um, our motto is we're all in this together. Um, we think this is really important for self-expression in the Jackson area. Um, so I hope to see you in February. After a word from our local sponsors, more with Barefoot Breakdown. Stay tuned. If you're an artist or a musician who would like to be featured on Soundwave, we'd love to hear from you. Contact us at viewermail at jtv.tv. If you have the desire to unleash your imagination and creativity, then the Jackson School of the Arts is the place for you. With a vast array of classes offered in art, dance, and theater, kids and adults alike can thrive and be inspired. Over 40 dance classes are available, including dance cheer camps for the kids and ballroom dance for adults. Classes in painting, drawing, and clay are also available to ignite your creativity. Come make an impact at Jackson School of the Arts, located in Art 634 on Mechanic Street. that good. Exercise your mind at JCC. Fall semester starts August 27th, 
visit the website at jccmi.edu or stop by any of our JCC locations. Jackson Community College, where you want to be. And what happens if you stay dry all next week? Oh, you're going to go to the toy house? And what you going to get? A bike. A bike? From who? From Grandma. From Grandma? Yeah. And what did your mommy buy you? What? Feet. Feet? Treat. A treat? I already bought your treat. What's your treat? At the toy house. And we're back. Barefoot Breakdown may be relatively new to the scene, but they're quickly earning a reputation for being a very energetic band. We caught up with them prior to their performance at the Michigan Theater. Let's check it out. I wanna do what is wrong and see what is right So I might break on through to you I wanna break now I wanna break Barefoot Breakdown joins us at the Michigan Theater prior to their set. And less, uh, according to the bio, the band's influences are sort of all over the map. And oh, talk, okay. talk about your influences and how they sort of are able to mesh together to, to form your sound. Uh, um, well, I mean, like, we have a little bit of, like, punk and rock in there, definitely. But uh, we have this, like, strange, like, blues influence in there as well. And they all just kind of came together like a rainbow and came out. And on the other side, hopefully there's a pot of gold. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's a double rainbow. Whoa, we said. Do do da 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 do do baby there that's for you Bella also you said that you use your own personal life experiences and relationships to sort of uh, craft your writing and create uh, empowerment for women um, talk about that and the transition from pen to performance well actually I have like never really written any of my songs down and I think that's why they come from so deep in my soul um, it's just a, as my band knows it's a long drawn out creative process and it just kind of comes out and um, in little tiny bits and pieces and I throw it together and it becomes a song and like eventually by the end of the song I'm figure out that it was about me or some sort of past problem I had or some relationship even I just got out of I don't know until it finally comes out and it's all laid out and I feel better you know like chasing dreams and chasing hearts guitar and, but you started out playing the drums is that correct uh, are you multifaceted can you play pretty much everything or how what inspired the change from the drums to to guitar um actually a brother's friend of mine probably when I was about 11 years old brought over his guitar and started playing for me and I thought he was really good and so that was about the time I decided I was gonna get a guitar because I thought it looked really cool and <laughs> I wanted to be cool so it worked out how do you think that that versatility helps with creating songs I can hear the song from different perspectives. Like I can hear how the guitar sounds, but I can also hear how the drums sound. So like, and I know how it should sound if it's too fast, if it's too slow. And so I think that just really helps out in general. trying to play at as many festivals as we can. Um, it's just a matter of getting our demo out there and getting people to hear us. Liking us on Facebook is definitely like the number one way to find out about future shows. So, Cool. Now, I also read that um, you have a, a very nice invite to next year's Rockapalooza, something that we just covered recently. Yeah. Um, how did you guys find out about that, and, and what was your reaction to getting the invite? Well, we actually played at this year's Rockapalooza, so, um, you know, I've just spoken with uh, Tim Corser, who puts most of it together, and it's just kind of something that he promised we could do, and hopefully we can um, get more people out there. We sold uh, a lot of tickets this year and trying to sell more for next year, so... Look us up when you need your ticket, you know what I mean? <laughs>
stay tuned. We've got one more from Barefoot Breakdown after a quick break. If you're an artist or a musician who would like to be featured on Soundwave, we'd love to hear from you. Contact us at viewermail at jtv.tv. I want to spread the word on how most teens don't do the things that you guys think we do. I am a most teens don't person. I love doing stuff for my community. I know I'm not going to do like drugs and alcohol. I know I won't do that, so I'm trying to get the word out because it's such a good influence for other people in the community. I'm trying to be like a good example for the other kids. And I wanted to be that positive role model, somebody they can look up to. So they can be above the influence. We know! Your Marine Corps way of life is to defend the American way of life. Every day, we take a stand for our nation, for each other, for us all. The few, the proud, the Marines. Welcome back. Up next, we head back to the Michigan Theater and get the grand piano out on stage for one final performance from Barefoot Breakdown.
That's a wrap for us here on Soundwave. My thanks to Barefoot Breakdown, Doug Jones, Art 634, and the Michigan Theater. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash JTV Soundwave. I'm Jason Smith, and we'll see you next time. For web exclusives and more, check out youtube.com slash JTV Soundwave today.